Right now on News 3 Now at noon, why local hospitals want you to stay home instead of going to urgent care if you feel sick. Plus, the U.S. Postal Service and investigators asking for the public's help in identifying the person responsible for killing a Milwaukee mail carrier. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now at Noon. I'm Leah Lynchide in for Mark this morning. New at noon, some breaking news here. Madison police are investigating after a man was shot on the city's north side. It happened in an apartment along Calypso Road. That's near Warner Park just after 5.30 on Friday. Officers say a 36-year-old man had to go to the hospital after he was shot in a hallway. Investigators say the victim and the gunman did know each other and were arguing before the incident. There are no arrests as of this afternoon. Local hospitals are asking people with mild respiratory illnesses to stay home instead of visiting urgent care clinics. In a joint statement, area health care providers, including UW Health and SSM Health, said their emergency departments are seeing an influx of patients with flu, RSV, and COVID-19. That's causing longer than expected wait times here. Instead, they're asking those with mild symptoms to seek virtual care. They say if your symptoms are manageable, all you really need to do is rest, drink plenty of water, and get some supportive care at home. And it's not just cold and flu season for us. Canine flu and other viruses that make dogs sick are also spreading. Some animal shelters are suspending dog adoptions because of flu or pneumovirus cases. Dr. Cinda Crawford is with the University of Florida's College of Veterinary Medicine. She says the message is the same for sick pets as it is for sick people. Limit their activity so that they can get some rest and find them at home because whatever's causing their cold is likely contagious to other dogs. So there is no vaccine for the pneumovirus, but there is a canine flu vaccine. So if you're planning to board your dogs over Christmas, now is the time to get the vaccination. It's 12.02. Let's head over to the Weather Center now. Josh Breider has a look at your first worn weather. Hey, Josh. Hey, Leah. Good afternoon. More clouds for your Monday, but not too bad outside. If you've taken a walk this morning, things are looking pretty good other than dealing with a lot of those clouds. You have to bring a little bit of your own sunshine into your Monday as we kick off a new week. Right now, 36 degrees in Madison will only warm up about a degree or two more today. So we're staying pretty flat as far as temperatures go. Across the 608 right now, a little warmer down to the south. 39 degrees in Janesville, 36 minutes. Row 35 degrees for you in Platteville and Lone Rock this morning as we plan your afternoon. Again, we're only warming up here to the mid to upper 30s. 37 degrees for your high in Madison, 41 down in Janesville. Same for you over in Lone Rock, a little cooler up to the north, 36 degrees in the Dells. Coming up here in just a few minutes, Leah, we're talking about our next storm system moving in that is going to have a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, and a lot of wind. So we'll time that out for you coming up in about 10 minutes. All right, Josh Breider with that first warn. Thank you very much. The U.S. Postal Service is offering a reward of up to $50,000 to help solve the murder of a mailman in Milwaukee. The 44-year-old mail carrier was shot and killed on the city's north side on Friday. Police are looking for a silver Audi Q5 SUV that may have been involved. Meanwhile, you can see here friends gathering to honor Andre Cross over the weekend with the vigil. He was He's just a, an amazing person. Like, he just spoke life into you. He was always looking for snacks. Um, he was typically the first person in the office, so coffee was always ready. Anyone with information is asked to call the USPS Inspection Service number. That's right on your screen right there. It's 877-876-2455. Investigators say whoever is involved should be considered armed and dangerous. There's a big breakthrough in a case that's frustrated investigators and families of victims for decades now. 34 years ago, just days before Christmas, a terrorist bomb brought down a Pan Am flight over Scotland. It killed 270 people, including 190 Americans. Now a former Libyan intelligence operative is in custody for that attack back in 1988. The suspected creator of the bomb, Abu Ajila Mohammed Massoud, is set to have his first court appearance later today. I did have a lot of faith in them that this day would come. He looked at the day that he was coming home as, you know, what a great day that was going to be. And that part always gets me. Masood is the third Libyan charged in connection with the attack, but he will be the first to stand trial in an American court. 
With the success of the Artemis 1 mission, NASA says astronauts will be the next flight to the moon. The Orion capsule splashing down into the Pacific Ocean yesterday. The 25-day, 1.4 million mile space voyage sent home some of the most amazing pictures of the moon we've ever seen. Sunday's splashdown also marked 50 years to the day of another landing when Apollo 17 touched down on the moon's surface. That was back in 1972. It is 12.05 on your Monday. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon in our Money Watch report. What Janet Yellen has to say about the chance for a recession and why we might see another spike in the price at the pump. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.com. Get a new kitchen quicker with cabinet refacing from Mad City Kitchens. Our installers work year-round, and we make it fun and easy to choose colors like Cascade White, Raw Umber, or Chocolate Pear. With soft closed doors and drawers, new hardware, countertops, and a kitchen sink. We'll help make your dream kitchen a reality, installed in as little as two days. Plus, stay under budget during our end-of-year savings event. Receive 75% off installation of a cabinet refacing project. And purchase now to get $750 in Mad City cash to use for future home improvements. Ask about our price lock guarantee and receive a free $75 restaurant.com gift card with your free in-home estimate. And be sure you call during this program for no interest and no payments till 2025. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. It's Steinhoffel's Winter Mattress Sale. Now's the time to snuggle up with a new Beautyrest mattress. Queen Beautyrest mattresses start at just $449 and get $200 in Steinhoffel's cash when you upgrade to the new redesigned Beautyrest Black. More luxurious and comfortable than ever. Get comfy and pay only $49 a month for a Beautyrest Black Queen mattress with Steinhoffel's 72-month financing. The Winter Mattress Sale, only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. Papa Murphy's presents How to Change the Way You Pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. Step three, chow down on the deliciousness. Order the limited time Hog Heaven Pizza for just $12.99 at papamurphys.com. Attention, this is an important legal alert for mothers of children 18 and under. If you used any brand of acetaminophen during pregnancy and your child was later formally diagnosed with or you believe may have autism spectrum disorder, you may qualify for a significant cash settlement from the manufacturer. Call now for a free consultation. Delay may affect your legal rights. Call 800-800-5678. Hupy and Abraham. Right now. All you have to do is point. Yes! 1-800-GOT-JUNK can make it disappear. And that's why they all start dancing. Woo! Call 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Or visit 1-800-GOT-JUNK.COM. In an interview with CBS News 60 Minutes, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that while there are always risks of a recession, she believes inflation will be much lower next year if there's not an unanticipated shock. Yellen also predicts the labor market will remain quite healthy while pointing out the drop in gas prices as another positive sign. But those lower prices at the pump could be threatened by the largest U.S. onshore oil spill in nearly a decade. In Kansas, there's a rush to repair and clean up a ruptured part of the key Stone pipeline. The owner, Canada's TC Energy, shut the pipeline down after more than 500,000 gallons of crude oil poured into a local creek. So far, the spill caused just a brief surge in crude prices Thursday. The spill in a creek running through rural pasture land in Washington County, Kansas, has environmentalists asking Congress to reconsider permitting for the pipeline. And today, Twitter is relaunching its Twitter Blue service for the coveted blue checkmark verification symbol for $8 a month. But the price tag for 
for Apple users is $11 a month after multiple tweeted complaints from owner Elon Musk over Apple's in-app purchase fees. The service had been paused last month due to a spike in fake accounts after Twitter Blue's initial launch. Twitter says it will have a more thorough review process this time before issuing the checks. That is your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Matt Piper. Just about 12.10 at the noon hour, here's a look at your stock report. The Dow up 307 points, NASDAQ up 43, the S&P 500 is up 20. Our call for action volunteers are in the building, taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Taking a live look at the call for action studio right now. Volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from roughly 11 until 1. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 during those hours or submit a claim anytime on channel3000.com slash call for action. Next at noon, Pam has today's egg prices, and Josh has more on the details of the mix of rain and snow we're going to see this week. And then today on Live at 4, we're going to take you behind the wheel of the brand new 2023 Honda HRV. That story and more today at 4. Your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. If a new kitchen has been on your wish list all year long, you're running out of time. Make a great impression on family and friends during the holidays with cabinet refacing from Mad City Kitchens. Get new door and drawer fronts, countertops, and the upgrade everyone loves, soft closed doors and drawers. Avoid a lengthy remodel with installation in as little as two days. It's our end of year savings event. Receive 75% off installation of a cabinet refacing project. Plus get $750 in Mad City cash for future home improvements. And receive a free $75 restaurant.com gift card with in-home estimate. Remember with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. Plus, last chance to call during this program for no interest and no payments till 2026. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-298-5383. That's 608-298-5383. Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. Dress up your home for the holidays at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Add color and cheer to your home this holiday season with stylish seasonal decor during our holiday sale. Let us brighten your room with unique accessories and great savings during the holiday sale going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Please welcome my friend, Rick Shadow. We wanted you to come back to The Voice, not start your own freaking talk show. Hello. Please welcome James Gordon. And what do I consider myself? Lucky. <laughs> on the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Tomorrow, we'll take you to an historic home in the 608 where the holiday spirit's on full display. Plus, our question of the day has your chance to win tickets to the Harlem Globetrotters. And the next storm system moving into southern Wisconsin, we're timing out the rain and snow from 4.30 to 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back. Time to check in with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. A two for today, Pam. I know, I know. I hope you got your nap tucked in somewhere you between the I did. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Good I did. Girl. Good girl. They are valuable for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, the value in our markets today, a little bit of a ebb and flow situation. While Wall Street may be stronger on the midday, our soybean market not necessarily doing very well, and our dairy markets are a little off also. Wanted to take a moment, you know, so many times uh, in the news, all you hear is about kids that are doing things uh, that are wrong or bad. Uh, well, I got to tell you about some 
some really good kids. They're up at uh, DeForest High School. Now, there was a time when DeForest High School would have been largely made up of kids with a farming background or at least some uh, rural living. Now it's largely turned in kind of a suburb and uh, of the 300 plus students that uh, the ag teacher there, Gwen Betcher, has up at DeForest, only about three of them actually come from a farm. So they're trying to bridge the gap on what those students learn and know about agriculture with hands-on learning. Beautiful greenhouse facility where they're growing uh, not only local greens that the school's using, but also different projects that the students work on throughout the uh, calendar year. They hosted Wisconsin Ag Secretary Randy Romanski last week. Uh, Sarah Shaneborn, chair of the Wisconsin Ag, Ag Education and Workforce Development Council, also along with Department of Workforce Development Secretary Amy Pahacek and Jill Underlay, the state superintendent of public instruction. They were all focused in on exactly what uh, is going on in DeForest to try to keep those students engaged and uh, always exploring what opportunities there are in agriculture. It's not all just about going out and milking cows or driving tractor. And uh, like I said, Gwen Betcher has been doing a great job up there in DeForest. But it does kind of surprise you when you think about the number of people that are uh, involved in that ag education program, but only three with any kind of farming background. So the dairy markets today in Chicago, barrel cheese down eight at 187, 40 pound block cheese. That dropped three and a half today at 206. We saw double A butter drop 11 and a quarter today down to 270 a pound. And like I said, the big losers today so far, as far as our commodities, soybeans. It looks like the hot demand for renewable fuels like biodiesel on the West Coast. Uh, some of the profit takers moved into that market late on Friday, and they're still hanging around today. So soybeans are off, and so are some of our, several of our dairy product price categories. But uh, the brighter side, Leah, is uh, that those kids up in DeForest, no matter where they come from, recognize the importance of knowing where their food comes from, and that's really key. Yeah, that's very impressive. Pam Yankee, good to see you at noon again. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bright and early, dark and early. Yep. Thank you, Pam. Twelve sixteen. building a home can be expensive and time-consuming, but some construction companies are looking to 3D printing to get the job done. Across the country, builders are finding that 3D printed homes are less costly and more environmentally friendly than those traditionally built homes. Just outside Austin, Texas, a home builder and construction tech company are collaborating to build a community of 100 3D printed houses. <laughs> Environmentally, we're taking a waste product that's building up and repurposing it. Um, size, so. The CEO of the 3D printed homes company says speed wise, this approach to building is about 70% faster. Cost wise, it's about 25% less expensive for the buyer. In the Texas community, the homes will be sold for about $400,000 each. All right, time to check back in with Josh for a look at your complete forecast, but of a cloudy Monday for us, Josh. Yeah, a lot of clouds, same thing another day, right? We've been tracking these clouds for quite some time now, and unfortunately, just not a lot of sunshine in your forecast. Over the next few days, as we plan your day out today for your Monday, we're going to warm up to around 37 degrees for your afternoon high, so just a couple of more degrees from where we are right now. The big story of the week, though, is we look at your three things you need to know. We're talking about quiet and cloudy weather today. That'll go into tomorrow when those winds really sweep into the region. We're talking about some really windy conditions Tuesday through Wednesday. And then that next storm system we've been tracking Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning. We're going to be seeing some rain with some mix over to snow as we get towards the later part of the week. We'll get to that here as we start to track those conditions. Here's a look at future track right now. You can see uh, we are dealing with those clouds and they're going to be sticking around. There might be a couple of peaks of sunshine, but don't hold your breath for that because that is not looking very, very low likely at this point. It's going to be remaining pretty cloudy over the next couple of days. Those temperatures remaining pretty steady too. We're staying mild. We're above freezing, which is good. But just keep in mind with that on the overnight periods when we do cool down, we do start to see some refreezing after a lot of that melting going on. There it comes. That's our next system moving in from the southwest from into uh, southwestern Wisconsin. This is tomorrow night at five o'clock. So if you're heading home, uh, especially in southwestern parts of the state, you might be starting to see the windshield wipers needed. And then that rain's going to be really sweeping in over the area. You can see all the way through Wednesday, we're dealing with wet conditions. A little bit of a break Wednesday. Look at that, 41 degrees, 44 in Lone Rock on Wednesday. So we will be warming up. But you can see that mix up to the north where we're starting to see a little of the mixed precipitation and snow where northern Wisconsin could be seeing quite a bit of snow out of this system. We're going to be mainly rain yet. It isn't until later this week when we start to see the mix. You can see around the Dells right there. As soon as those temperatures start to drop, that's when the snow moves into southern Wisconsin 
then that's where we can start to see a little accumulation out of that, especially as those temperatures really start to drop. You can see as we head into Saturday, Look at that Saturday 830 20 degrees as far as that snow accumulation goes right now we're going to be looking at about less than an inch here in Madison a little bit more up to the north and west especially where they're going to remain mostly with the snowy conditions as temperatures are a little bit colder up there the rest of your 7 to 10 day forecast right now again temperatures staying pretty mild through much of this week but then look at next week as we get into Christmas week if you can believe it Christmas week Next week already, we're looking at highs around 20 degrees lows in the single digits. So that winter slap is coming in hot next week. Oh my goodness, it's about time. We've been a little spoiled with higher than normal temperatures, haven't we? It hasn't been too bad. No. We'll have to see how much uh, snow we get on that and if it sticks around, it kind of depends. With that rain over the next couple of days, whatever snowpack we do have is probably going to go bye-bye. So. We would really like a white Christmas. I know, we, we need it. I think a lot of spirits would need it. Josh Breider with our first born weather. Thank you, Josh. You bet. Up next, how Mr. Howard's in the Mr. Food Kitchen with some advice if you're cooking a roast this holiday season. Hey, do you have your Christmas dinner menu planned out yet? I know some of you are out there rolling your eyes and saying, are you kidding? I did mine months ago. Well, others are rolling your eyes and saying, are you kidding? The holiday isn't until next week. No matter where you are in your planning, I want to show you how to cook a Christmas dinner favorite, prime rib. This is a boneless beef ribeye. As you can see, it has what is known as a fat cap, and the meat is well marbled. These together make this super moist and flavorful. To cook it, we place it in a roasting pan, fat side up. Then we rub it with a mixture that we made by combining some Dijon mustard, vegetable oil, brown sugar, a little flour, allspice, and some salt and pepper. We let this roast on high for a few minutes, which seals in the natural goodness. Then we lower the temperature so it cooks low and slow. When the temperature hits 140 degrees on a meat thermometer, we place it on the counter and let it rest for a few minutes. Get ready for lots of oohs and ahs, because once you start slicing this, everyone at the table is going to be drooling until they get their piece. To get the recipe for our roasted holiday prime rib with its crunchy flavor pack coating, simply visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a holiday special way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Still ahead at noon, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is here answering your plant and garden questions. A number to call right there on your screen at 608-270-9933. News 3 Now, first warm weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal. It's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Binax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. 
With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. This holiday season at the Century House. Give $50 or more to charity and get $200 off any stressless recliner with power, any stressless recliner and ottoman, or any stressless office chair. Or get $200 off each stressless sofa seat or $400 off all stressless Mayfair recliners and ottomans in all Paloma leather colors. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Welcome back. Lisa Briggs with the Bruce Company answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call, we are going to bring it up right there at 608-270-9933. Looks like we have a call. It is Todd from Edgerton. What does Todd have to say? Some water from my rain barrel. Is that rainwater still going to be good through the year? It should be, Todd, as long as your rain barrel was nicely sealed and you didn't get any schmutz or leaves or stuff in it, it should be fine to use for your plants. Okay, thank you much. You're welcome. Todd, thank bye you bye. very much. We appreciate it. You bet. All right. Do we have any other callers? We do. We have a caller on line two. Let's check in. Hello, you're on air. I'm sorry, why? What's your question? I already had the question. Oh, I, oh it's Todd again. Hi, Todd. Hey, Todd. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hi there. Go ahead and hang up, Todd. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the plant? This is a Stephanotis. And smell. I could smell it as soon as you said Super it Super fragrant. Yeah. Yes. A lot of times in bridal bouquets, little flowers and pretty. It's on a hoop, so pretty for the holidays. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we don't see a lot of those during the holidays. A lot of poinsettias. A lot of poinsettias. Those yes. are very pretty. Yep. All right, we do have another call. This is Deb from Blue Mounds. Good afternoon, Deb. What's your question? <laughs> do we got Deb? <laughs> Maybe it's this button. Let's try that one. <laughs> How about that button? <laughs> Deb, can you hear us? Yes, I can. There oh, we there go. You go. What's your question, Deb? <laughs> okay, I have a Christmas cactus, and it's just kind of droopy and... It doesn't want to, I don't know, it's just really flimsy, like it's not really sturdy and strong. What's wrong with it? You might want to make sure, Deb, that it gets a little bit more sun. They, Christmas cactus, like really high light, but they do like darkness at this time of, in, um, at this time of year to get the blooming going. Watch, make sure you don't overwater, yeah. and I would just give it some more light. That's probably most of the issue. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your question, Deb. Okay, we got Pat from Madison with a question. Let's see if I'm pushing the right button this time. Pat, can you hear us? Pat, are you there? Oh, line three. Let's try that one. Okay, when we have when we have heavy snow, are you supposed to take the snow off of your shrubbery in the front of in your house, uh, front of your house? This is like you know you have bushes in mm -hmm. front of your house. Are you supposed to take the the, the heavy snow off of it or leave it on? If, if it's starting to bow over, you can take a broom or a rake and gently sort of poke at the, at the um, branches to knock the snow off. You don't want to rake it off. And right now, since we've had some mild weather, branches are pretty flexible, but as it gets colder, it gets a little bit trickier. So just be gentle with it and knock it off. The, the branches will um, recover from that load by spring. Good question. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Lisa, thanks for your time. We appreciate it. No problem. All right, it's 1228. We got to give Josh a couple of seconds here with one last look at the weather. Hey, Josh. Hey, Leah. Yeah, we're talking about a lot of clouds for your Monday and that major storm system moving, and we'll get to that in a second here. Again, warming up to the mid to upper 30s this afternoon, those clouds sticking around. The three things you need to know, we're talking about rain, wind, and snow throughout the rest of the week. So we'll be timing all of that out. You can see we're going to be remaining pretty mild, and then the bottom's going to be dropping off towards the end of the week, Leah. Josh Breiner, thank you very much with that first warn. We appreciate it. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at noon, everybody. Have a great Monday. We'll see you back here this afternoon.